Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nogat21, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2! In the last episode, we sort of saved the Colony Horizon? I say sort of because not all the colonists were prevented from leaving the colony under forceful distress. Because the Collector is hit rather hard, paralyzed everyone. Jacob wants to speak with you, Commander. We'll do that in a minute, Kelly, don't worry. Point is, Collector's land down Horizon. Basically stunned everyone. We came in, kicked a bunch of them off the planet. Basically forced them to retreat in their stupid spaceship. And we have to move on from there, because now service resources are going to be finding a way to get beyond the Omega-4 relay. Good for them. A question. Ah, there's the mass relay. Where's this place at on the map? Ah, right here in the middle of nowhere. Fair enough. Anyway. Point is, we met Ashley again. She does not trust us at all, because we're with Cerberus. Understandable. And now, since we, we have to collect the rest of our crew, and basically do whatever we want, because we're free to explore the galaxy once more. It's time for us to finally head to the goddamn Citadel. I put this off for too goddamn long. Unfortunately, this place is small as fuck. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Brothians. Blah, 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 blah. Doc. The Citadel is usually, like, the first place I come to whenever I normally play Mass Effect 2. So, yeah, this is. Awkward. I don't usually come here this late. On the plus side, we get to hear my favorite NPC dialogue in the entire fucking game. So that's a bonus. Alright, who are taking it with me? Ugh. Shit. <sighs> I did not get enough sleep last night. Once again. Of course, that's mainly due to animals jumping all over things. Anyway, we're gonna take... It doesn't really matter. We'll take Miranda and Morden. Why not? Miranda can't level anything up, so... But more than can, let's level up Solarian Scientist. A rank 4 increases tech knowledge, further increasing the strength of his shields, or increases his weapon damage. Alright. And let's move. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Yeah, we'll do that in a bit, but uh, first Got off. Problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Oh, for fine. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. That's the aura of being the main protagonist of the series. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. 
I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. And what deal is this? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. The hell's a gray box? I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time. Before Hawk killed him. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in. And I think you're gonna love it. Oh, really? Guns and explosions? I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Oh, thanks. I imagine I could ask you more questions on the ship, so... If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Ah, Kasumi. Rather weird. Now then. Hello. Keepers. Fascinating creatures. Genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. Lucky for you, we did study them. Anyway. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38-kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes sir. And that is my favorite entire conversation of NPCs in the entire fucking game. <laughs> the first time I played this, I heard that conversation all off my ass off for a good five minutes. Anything on Galactic News? The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. Well, that's good, I guess. Rapid Transit, so we're not going to be using that just yet. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. <laughs> What's that got to do with racism? Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thanks for your time. Next! Oh, this will be fun. Weapons detectors. Don't remember those from last time I was here. Upgraded security. Shut it down. Commander Shepard, sorry. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. 
Nah, I was only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Officially, ma'am, only CSEC are allowed to have weapons on the Citadel now. Uh... Okay. You expect me to believe the criminals here are unarmed? No, there's still plenty of guns floating around on the black market. We got word from the CSEC executor's office that you should be allowed to keep your weapons. That's surprising. Executor Palin didn't seem to like me last time I was here. Pal? He was killed by Geth in the Battle of the Citadel. CSEC's current commander is Deci and Chelly. He said you tend to find trouble and you need to be armed. He sounds observant. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Thanks, Sergeant. So, Palin's dead, and Chellick got a promotion. Good for him. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Captain Bailey. Yes? I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Oh, wonderful. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Yeah, sure, okay. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. Question, uh, since this place got rebuilt, how do I get there? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Um... Nah, I'll leave you to your work. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. I'll grill you later, Captain. Ha! <sighs> Welcome to the Citadel. A multi-area fucking hellhole. Not really. It's just annoying. Because we have Rats of Transit, we got Certa Foundation, Cerrone's Appliances, Zakara Cafe. Citadel Souvenirs, Rotom Expeditions, and Multiple Transit Vehicles. At the very least, this place is easy to get around. At least I have an actual fucking map. Because we're mainly going to be stuck in the Zakara Ward for the entire game. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn Citadel. Really? What do you have? High Grade Provisions? Ascension Novel? Revelations Novel? Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Caprishan that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. Uh, Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Okay, I'll be buying all of this. Since I can't interact with the shopkeeper, I can't demand a fucking, uh, cheaper price, but whatever. Hey, we finally got those ingredients that the Miss Sergeant was asking for. Okay, now then. Let's go to this direction. Let's see, let's look at my map. I hear, yeah, I need to head down the stairs. Pretty. Lula. Sorry about that. You ship salesman. I don't need to talk to you. 
Chef, no thank you. The Avail. Oh, you're a ramen shop? <laughs> I like how I assume that because I hear a vague Japanese. This Clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Excuse me, is there a problem here? I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Uh-huh. You know what, I'll look into this. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. <laughs> All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Oh, don't worry, officer. I'm gonna find it. Shipping, I just huh? Just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. That's real specific. Well, this technically is a warehouse. Probably not the one he's looking for, though. Not the one I'm looking for either. So. A refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink. What the hell's a Tupari sports drink? Serta Foundation. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. Question. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And now that I saw, he didn't purchase anything. Ah, thank you. Uh... Hey! You mind giving me a discount? I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're a shepherd, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Yeah, you won't be the only one who has that. <laughs> Ooh, Metagel. Oh, what's this? And life support webbing. Thank you. Another armor think, piece. Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Hey, it's the couple who are arguing over. A baby getting a genetic modification to cure a disease. I like how I can't interact with them though. It's like, hey, I gave them advice. Let me talk to them, goddammit. Oh, whatever. Oh, hey, data pad. Subject, Anto Bakhtal. Anto Bakhtal is a member of the criminal organization headed up by Arya Taloka, the of the Pirate Queen of Omega, while Arya's guys was later onto his eye towards outside work. Whether this is an exploitable hole, we're not sure this is Arya Taloka after all. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, ish. I was looking for stuff. Rab. Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. 
Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Will do. Hey, you want an endorsement? <laughs> you know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. And now, whenever we return here, if we ever do, we'll hear that clip over and over again through every single fucking store. Well, let's see. Tech damage. I'll buy this. This is valuable. Damage protection. I will definitely buy this. Now I'm out of money. Oh, God damn it! Why is everything so expensive? It's a good thing I did get those discounts. Now then, time to resolve this problem. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. I didn't even touch you! Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report. But I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. That guy's an asshole. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. Yay. <laughs> Don't I feel good? Hey! A thousand credits. <laughs> Anyway, um, you ship salesman, I don't think... You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Depends on whether or not you get the actual meal and not the instant noodles. Ah, yes, here's our fast travel system. Much easier to deal with. We can return to Normandy. Replace party members. Head up to Presidium. Travel the various sections of the Zakara Ward. The docks. Level 28. Let's head up to the... Actually, no. Let's head to level 28. Gustav shots are extremely effective against enemy biotic barriers. Hmm, okay, I didn't... I... I either didn't know that or I forgot about that one. Okay, so that's good to know. Unfortunately, concussive shots have a long fucking cooldown. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. That ain't much in the ga in, the, in this fucking galaxy, man. Rodom Expeditions. Hello! Snap rifle damage, heavy pistol damage, submachine gun damage, offhand ammo pack. And the Aegis Vest. Eltarn Therian. Therian? Therian? Whatever your name is. I'll talk to you in a bit.
There we go. I mean, you could technically have bought it from Omega, but I think a club on the Citadel is going to have a better quality version of the drink. Kalisa Aljilani, Westerland News. I'm not going to talk to you just yet. Because last yeah, time I got like fucking hammered. You get two credits toward a new game. Anyway, I'm not talking to her just yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Da, 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 da. Rapid transit. Actually, I want to test something. Let me swap my party for a grunt and Garrus. Why? Because I want to see if they have anything to say when I go into this gun shop. Well, I call it a gun shop. It's probably not. Hey, buddy. What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. Interesting. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. <laughs> okay, big guy, calm down. You know what? You want an endorsement? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and I... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. <laughs> I'm so glad there's no consequences for doing this. Otherwise, I'd be fucked. Because <laughs> I just said that to what? Three, four stores now? Oh, great, but the... All this expensive shit, and there's no way I can sell things to gain more money. Ugh. Well, that was fun. There's one more place I should stop to before I head to the uh, Presidium. And that's the souvenir shop. Because I'm hoping I have enough money to either buy some fish or a little special pet. Now then, where the fuck is the souvenir shop? Here we are. Citadel Souvenirs! You son of a bitch. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This small furry one looks to you seems to like to be a knowing smile. It's a space hamster. Bioware, you cheeky bastards. <laughs> Boo, what are you doing here? Where's Minsk? How'd you... How'd you tr... How? Why? <laughs> I mean, you should be with Minsk, traversing the world of Farron after being petrified by a basilisk for a couple hundred years. Yeah, Minsk's fate is hilarious. He was adventuring, he got petrified, they pushed, they put the petrified statue of Minsk, thinking it was a real stat, thinking it was an actual statue, <laughs> up in the city of, was it Baldur's Gate or Neverwinter? I think it was Baldur's Gate. Then some poor sap, uh, so Dispelled the magic, and Minsk is now running free once again. Ah! Let me buy my miniature giant space hamster, goddammit! Oh. I'll come back here when I have more money. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh... 
They think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. All Turian- all Krogan are dangerous. Even civilians like you two. Which is rare, a rare sight to see. Anyway, let's head to the Presidium. Let's actually go talk to the Council. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As Counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. You said you wanted to meet with me. I didn't realize they'd be here too. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Oh, boy. I got a feeling their heads are still stuck up their ass. So it doesn't matter what I say to them. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Huh. <sighs> Figures. Figures! I'm not even gonna bother doing this crap. I guess I'm on my own. Again. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason. A capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise. Not a public acknowledgement, given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a specter. Screw you. That's all I can ask. I'm honored. I'll take what I can get. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. <sighs> Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Visiting an old friend! What are you doing here? Oh wait, you work here. I'm sorry. Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. You could just fire him. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus... He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. 
How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Yeah, well, yeah, I bet. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Oh, I bet. Now we're fighting insects. Ashley Williams was on Horizon. She said she was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the Collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Williams didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this, or even that they exist. Great! So they're digging their heads in the sands. The usual. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? You could just say fuck this. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. Oh, I bet it is. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're right. Mass Effect 3 proves the point. Although, they do paint a pretty picture in this game. Okay, I can't really do anything else here on the Citadel, so let's get off to Normandy. Get to the Normandy, not get off the Normandy. Get on the Normandy. I can speak English. I just need to use the proper words. Success. And other things. Alright. That was fun. Commander, you've received, received a new, new message, message at your, your private, private terminal. terminal. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you again, Samash Batia. Hey! You're not dead, Emily Wong. A gift of words. Consort Shaira, you and Garrison are alive. Dr. Michelle. Hey! about some messages from other people? Thanks. I'm not gonna read them, because I don't care. Alright, I'm gonna have to take stock. What resources do I need to farm? Or just start going strip mining for? A lot. 
Oh boy. Oh hey, heat shields. Shields take 20% less damage. Oh, hard shields, not heat shields. Biotic damage, that just requires element zero, so that's easy enough to upgrade. Nothing on the prototype section. Nothing on the ship. What about the weapons? Nope. Essentially, I'm running low on everything I need. Yeah, there's no two ways about it. I'm gonna have to go mining. Miranda wants to see, see you, Commander. Yeah, we'll do that. In a bit. Well, now we can explore around the Citadel area. I can't really do anything because, well... We have no money. In that case, let's go to... Five is it was a citadel. Albanic. Oh hey, I can actually go to the local cluster. I don't know why I'm heading to the soul system. There's nothing for me to do here. Oh hey, Luna's on the map now. An early source of Helium-3. Two major stages have been constructed at Earth's L4 and L5 laying rich points all from lunar resource. Since when is there fucking Helium-3 on the moon? Ah, whatever. We can now recruit Tally, uh, or we can head to Ilum. Choices, choices. I have an idea. I will roll a dice. Oh, roll a dice. <sighs> okay, dice gods. Here's what you're gonna just help me decide on. Do I spend some time mining? Or do I do a story mission? Odds, story, evens, mining. Nat fucking 20, looks like I'm mining. Okay, question then. If I'm gonna be mining, do I record it or do I just end the video here? Odds is... Ah, shit. Odds will be continue. Evens will be stopping. I rolled an eight. Well, in that case, the dice got to have spoken. I'm gonna end the video early and do some mining for a bit. Fair enough, in that case, let me just get out of this menu. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Mass Effect 2. In the next episode, I'm going to be done with my mining expedition. And then I'm going to decide where do I go from there. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time. God, this video was shorter than I thought it would be. Sorry, ma the Systems Alliance UT-47 drop shuttle landing craft holds 12 soldiers in a cramped, uncomfortable cargo bay and two more in the cockpit. Officially named the Kodiak, the drop shuttle is better known to Alliance Marines as the Combat Cockroach due to its appearance and durability. The vehicle's robust environmental sealant technology exposes few vulnerable parts to the elements. First tested in the sulfuric acid clouds and extreme temperatures of Venus, the Kodiak can land in hard vacuum, high pressure, and temperatures from near absolute zero to over 900 degrees Celsius. A true contragravitic vehicle, the Kodiak's substantial element zero core allows flight by entirely countering the vehicle's mass. Its small thrusters are for directional control only. So if the mass effect field fails, the vehicle becomes a proverbial three million credit coffin.
the unarmed shuttle forgoes weaponry space for active masking, electronic countermeasures, and a robust kinetic barrier system, ideal for dropping troops undetected. 